Hello, everybody. I'm just about ready to get started. Let's chat a little bit first. So I see Hellcleave is here. If there's any runs you want to do today, Hellcleave, you definitely get first come, first serve when it comes to that stuff. Welcome also, Charlie. Thank you for the welcome back. Uh, we'll be warming up a little bit uh, and seeing how many people trickle in as we go through. If we have at least two people, I'm willing to jump jump right into multiplayer for whatever is needed so personally items i'm looking for include things like cannon rouge excalibur lnk's uh technically could do psycho wand heaven strikers things of that nature red ring as always Hopefully things have been going well for your health cleave. I saw <laughs> PW3 with the box run. Hopefully you've been uh, soaking in that extra XP. But the box leveling continue forever. Ideally, I want to level my 160 characters to 180, but I do need more red rings. So I have several characters that are good enough for it. So we'll start with the solo game. Yeah, I decided to go back into Sonic soundtrack slightly since uh, I did find Sonic Rivals at least. Enjoy some Sonic Rivals. <clears throat> Always need red rings, true, true. And so hopefully a couple more people show up, and then I think we could do some hardcore multiplayer stuff. I'm sure a lot of people are just looking to level their maybe early ultimate characters. And for people that happen to be tuning in, I will carry you, and if I can't carry you, Hellcleave will carry me. <laughs> that's that that I think that's the the chain of command. So we are not afraid to play with basically anybody. I would like to hold a separate session specifically for people looking to go from uh, 1 to 79 slash 80 on a separate day. Today is rare item up, so I will not be helping people do that. This is like the only week I will be like hard no. Rare enemy week, technically we could have done it. But I think the people that requested generally weren't around sadly. And then we have the technical issue Friday, which would have been the big day for it I think. So it is what it is there. Yeah. I don't think I'm super in the mood for public games. I'm gonna keep it to the Twitch chat this time. Did a little bit of it last time. It went mostly fine. Just, I, I, have, I have to want to pair with random people. Or at least if it's in Twitch chat, you know, we have some communication. So this character will finally be high enough level in order to use V801 full-time on TTF without losing any stats of importance. Losing defense and other such things are not really the end of the world. <laughs> now that he has Red Ring, his defense is just so good it doesn't matter anymore. Prior to me having Virus Armor Red Ring, defense absolutely mattered. Right now, no, doesn't matter. This virus armor is very expensive. Granted, I did them with gold badges, so technically I didn't lose PD per se.
Oh, a little shy killing them with just two hits. Unfortunate. Hmm. I don't feel like unequipping, re-equipping. I'll take the damage loss here by just getting early shots on Worm. Oh, that was a really good hit, actually. I got a couple crits where I needed them. Oh, this Worm is ultra dead. Holy. Oops, all crits? What was that, like four crits in a row? Or at least four of the components were crit? Holy. Those were some good crit odds. Like that actually went insanely fast. I'm kind of surprised, given that I didn't even attack reset there. The difference between doing 680 and 1000 definitely speeds that up significantly. I should just learn to just normal attack first. I just don't have faith that it'll kill, and I'm like, no, 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 I should know. I'll take the fireball. It's a little TTF warm up, and then we'll see what people want. If there's enough people, I'm definitely interested in. It's not... It's unfortunately at the end of even beat. <clears throat> but I'm still not opposed to doing new mop-up operation, honestly. I do like that quest. I could bring whatever characters into it. Presumably some purple ID. Or help people end up making a purple ID. One of the above. So that way we can uh, get Heaven Strikers. Which is an extremely, extremely useful weapon. I just haven't been able to roll it with decent stats. So I've been getting away with like all zeroed ones. I'd like one with at least minimum hit, aside from the one that's on the raw cast. Because I, I think that weapon literally makes the raw cast viable in multiplayer. Otherwise, he just can't literally hit Heaven Striker at all. So he's just kind of compensating to keep up with Rob Mar at the moment. Only 20 or so runs without seeing one. Well, we gotta turn it around for Hellcleave. Welcome in Parameter. So I think we gotta help Hellcleave break a streak. And then we'll see what other quests people want to do. But let me know also in Parameter if you're looking for specific quests. While well, it is rare item up, we'll begin those as soon as I'm done with this TTF. So presumably we have at least two people, so I am good for multiplayer. So I'm leaning towards new mop-up operation, which is a great way to get a ton of XP anyway. Did you want me to bring anybody in particular, Hellcleave? Like a cast or a uh, force? If you need me to couple, if you need me to cover purple ID, let me know. That that'll change who I can offer. Oh, I didn't shift up. Ooh, I got really lucky there. I didn't shift up. I keep forgetting I normally shift it in the Sinnoh room. Which I guess I could've... I, mm, I, yeah, I, I should, should always do it there. Oh, I'm thinking of Pod. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I was thinking of Purple. No. I was thinking because I ran it Purple, Hellcleave, because I was looking for Yashminikov. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, green or red, I have some variety of characters between those two, but just let me know either way. I mean, like, in my defense, it did get me a Yashminikov, it just wasn't quite the stats I was looking for. Yeah, purple pod's not bad if we want to stick to purple. All up to you, Hellcleave. Whether you want to do the NMU grind or do pod. I don't super care either way. I have a force, so it's like, it doesn't matter what the beat is.
Otherwise, NMU will be the default. Yeah, we're just leaving even beat, sadly. So probably towards the end of the session, we might do some... Yeah, let, let's leave Purple Pod for even beat, because then I can play my Raw Marl, and she can just hard carry Purple Pod. Let's do a uh, Green or Red ID, MMU. We'll still do both, I just think... Uh... For purple specifically. I'm not looking to level my force for the most part. I'm sure Hell Cleave would just like Pew Pew Laser anyway. Pew Pew Laser too strong. Yeah, my green ID force is like 180 or 190 something. So I, I, I could carry that if we need to. Yeah, I, I had a feeling. I was like, I'm looking at the clock. I'm like, nah, there's no way Hulk Cleave wants to do it. <laughs> He's not feeling masochistic. He's like, no, 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 no. We're not doing the boss the normal way. It's boring. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, NMU 3. I don't have a red ID force. I've red ID cast. I need to level my force. So maybe when we go to level people, I might literally bring in another character to level. He's already been made by the chat. I just have to actually level him. And I might do that just because there are a couple runs where it would have been useful to have a force. I did not shift a again. I don't know why. Like doing our raw cast, but I don't need XP on him, so rather not. Ooh. I was a little slower, but I missed time my sacrifices. But I, I like that more than Yashmenikov for sure. Just this specific scenario, I like Yashmenikov more. Where I have to walk forward. Let's go this way. Yeah, the burst damage this thing can do is insane. Nice try, I'm not dodging the lasers. I saw that accuracy heart attack. I'm like, yeah, no way. I'm not missing this. Get out of here. Thank you, Yashminikov. <laughs> Yashminikov Evan Striker is my true duo. Love this gun. And already got to do damage. So I'm gonna walk forward just in case it's Evan Striker o'clock time. Let's find out. Is it? Kind of. Nice. Thank you, Foey. You saved me a shot. Because it did like 400 to 500 to Foey. And I'm like, if this character can damage enough for Foey to be relevant, <laughs> most people could do better. So never forget your Foey. Those five technique levels or even 15 technique levels are kind of huge. Sadly, no red ring, but hey, sub 13. Pretty nice. Given that I did Sorcerer and uh, did uh, Full Sinnoh, I think. I think that's completely fine. So if we if we had ignored Sinnoh, that would have been a sub 12. I'm pretty happy with that chat. <laughs> I didn't miss that many sacrifice shots because that's where I can lose time. Also, we got a good false pattern right at the end, so that also saved time. That, that falls pattern is the difference between me getting 13-something and 12-something. Because we got the longest possible one. And this is where, like, optimization of the Heaven Striker 
you know, if if I had like a 40 hit one or something like that, then I would just be landing, you know, heavy, heavy special special consistently, potentially. And that would result in not needing as many cycles with the boss. But hey, when the game rolls well, it rolls well. Hmm. Trying to think if there's any character I have that needs special attention. I think so. So I'm gonna hand this in. Technically, this character could do an MU. I don't know if it's worth bringing a human there, though. I don't think there's like a lot of annoying Gerdabulu esque enemies throughout. It's mostly just can you survive the constant damage? Hmm. Okay. So, Cleve, let me know if you need me to make or if you want, or if you're gonna make the game. And then we'll get started with some multiplayer. I'm fine with green or red ID, uh, NMU, whichever you want. Otherwise, I'm pretty good. Hmm. Is there any character I'm forgetting about that would be useful? I could bring my hunter, which is okay. I'd rather bring a force or a ranger for NMU specifically. Just thinking. I Fomar it. I could make the game. Let's learn together, chat, what the differences were between ultimate green and red. I feel like the answer is Disco Brave Man. Because I remember looking this up a couple times. But what underground is more useful to me? Green has V101, red is Heavenly Mind. So Zoo is better with green, which I do recall. Disco Brave Man is Goron Detonator, that's what I thought. Pretty much Disco Brave Man. Yeah, in that case, I think I'd rather stick to green ID, if it's between those two. I'm like, listen, we could just go Brave Man any other run. <laughs> there's runs where there's like five of them. It's like, yeah, when well, we're being serious about it. Or if it's like a back-to-back -back run, for example. I'm like, nah. Only the three zoos, but I still have that V101 twice now. Exactly. Gotta believe in the odds. I'll bring in my Fomar, why not? So I'm gonna go ahead and make him block 2 for people that want to get some Heaven Striker goodness and potentially V101. So Cleave said there's not many view there's not many zoos, but I I have gotten stupider drops with way worse odds <laughs> on stream. So I think we'll go with that. Ooh, Hell Cleave with the mighty 180. So let's make a game. Make sure I'm not putting it on anguish. I had to check, because I'm like, this is the kind of character I do anguish with. So he needs his staff, potentially. There we go. What does he really need? I mean, he's got V101, V801. He feels kind of complete, to be honest with you. Everything else is just kind of extra. I mean, I guess I need Rafoe merge, right? Do I really not have it? Who has my Rafoe merge? <sighs> Who has it? Let's find out together, chat. It's on my blue Mr. Freeze. I guess that makes sense. Okay, so after this run, I'm going to go get it. So Rafoe merge, reminder. Uh, Blue Phonuman, Excal, Omarl. I need to get those at some point before I do serious runs. But, uh, what would I do in that place? I, I mean, I might as well do something I will at least, because I'm not really going to cast Kapoe in this run. 
very often, if at all. It'll be mostly Rafoe. Uh, bring in my Slicer. Um, I could bring Magical Piece in general to make up for it. Maybe that's good enough? Try that. Did we, did we finish the whole soundtrack again? This is... The all the phone is done will be the same for red. Oof. The chat, Sonic... Sonic already done. Unless it just... Oh, it just timed out. I was gonna say. I was like, that was crazy. That was like barely eight songs. Actual madness. Ah, right, so I could do Magical Piece at least. Bump my damage a little bit more. Bard and Merge on the off chance I need to use Freeze. I could also bring in uh, three seals. I guess it wouldn't be the worst thing ever. So we'll do several of these runs. It's not going to be a one and done. At least I have the ability to swap between the two. And then do I want anything else to assist with the run? Do I have spare adepts? I think that's the only other thing I really want. Oof. My adepts are not another character. That is most unfortunate. Well, PB increase. I could put Heavenly TP on as a joke. I don't really need anything else. Because he's pretty much max stats across the board. Why not? When, I'm, when else am I going to use a Heavenly TP? We'll give it love. If I leave and come back, it should still be green. Oh, are you green? Okay, then potentially I'll leave then. I wasn't sure what ID you brought in. Let me bring in, I think it's C-Bank 4. I'm gonna go take it off of Mr. Freeze, and then we'll be good, because I'll have both the merge and presumably two add-ups. Sadly, I really didn't get any limiters at all. Two holiday events in a row, where I basically ground it for over 100 runs. So, uh, per event, not total. So, kind of unfortunate. So, I'll rejoin he the game with Hellcleave in a bit. Yeah, you got everything I need. So, I would love to just leave the add-ups on him, because he just normally carries the other team characters. So it's like, I don't, I don't want to remove his V801 ever. That's basically on him permanently. But I'd like to get to that point with Adips, maybe. So I might end up just buying a couple at this point. Just because my luck with it has been completely atrocious. He can keep the Gifoe merge permanently. That's fine. I have enough. Oop, game. C-Bank 2. Back to the other character. bring in a female force, but I should probably check the forecast later. What is the forecast? Remind myself. Oh, it's the Newman female. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'll do this one with this character. I'll bring in a Newman female to bring up the rare bonus. Is that that is not hard to comply to? Sounds like CR runs later. Yeah, I think so. Cause she is the she is my red ID. So leveling her on this quest wouldn't be the worst thing ever. So her just power leveling also would be kind of useful. Sorry, Heavenly TP. You briefly had a moment where I would consider using you. No more. Be gone. Also, let's get the Rip away merge, because that does make a difference. Perfect. Double add up time for sure. Oh, 
Oh, well, max ATP, max defense, max MST. Should be good. So I'll do at least one run with this character and then probably sub out level maybe the red ID force, who's still pretty good. And it's not like this character gets bonuses to Rafoe anyway, so it doesn't super, super matter. And she'll have way more MST than he does. If I was using Gafoe, it would matter more to pick this character. Okay. Seems like nobody else is joining us, so I think we can proceed. But if there are other people interested, by all means, hop in the game. But just let us know in Twitch chat, because we have a free slot at the moment. But if I do new min female, that'll mean I bring at least 2% rare chance for everybody. So it just makes sense to kind of play to the forecast. Oh, I went immediately for D-Ban. <laughs> like, oh boy, I'm not attacking. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Like, this room is probably one of the only rooms I could put in. That's about it. Escaped all that's actually going to be useful, I think. Sixty seconds, all right. I guess I could put a good foe as they land. Absolutely debuffing this. Screw this. I'll heal the group. Yeah, my damage should be lower than the Phonumins with presumably about optimal equipment. So if I have to be designated healer, that's fine. And that roll is actually pretty easy if I'm the Phonu roll, to be honest. XP, I guess. Actually, out damaging, hopefully. Interesting. Rip the enemies. Oh, mother's garb. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, Cleave is like, I am not using fluids. <laughs> you can't make me. That's fair. I mean, if, especially if you're going to do the run over and over and don't want to go back to the shop. I respect that.
Oops. I got confused by the triple dots and then I realized what they were on the minimap when I actually looked at the screen. Goodbye, healing circle. there were so many Sonic games that were like Sonic and then the next word starts with R. <laughs> I was just thinking about that as we are listening to the music. Is there several racers and riders? Hmm. Then I forget what the mobile dash minigame is, if it's Sonic Dash or if it is like Sonic Run. TP refill? Absolutely. Oops, all Rafoe. But that's okay. Ah, uh, that time I get Bowie. <laughs> oh, these idiots, real quick. XP. Even with the three-man party, we're getting 190 plus XP a second. Completely bonkers. <laughs> Just wanted to stop him from moving. Say jokes on you, Agafoe. You got another escape doll. So now I have four escape dolls. Ooh. <clears throat> Man, I was just thinking, what if, what if? What if when we hit, went to the healing circle, if they just put a warp beyond it so you didn't have to keep walking to the next roof? What a miracle. With a quick snappy XP. Definitely still lower time. Oh, I got knocked down. Unfortunate. I'm thinking at some point to break it up a little bit. Once we do some, let's say four more of these quests, I could switch over to other, we could do Cannon Rouge or something later. Although I guess it just depends. Eh, let's stick to episode four for now. We'll do episode four until even beat, and then we'll do uh, a mix of pod and or 
surface runs for other quests, like the MAE boss rush. If that just makes more sense. Let's stick let's stick to one episode for now. And then maybe in about two hours or so, we can switch over to TTFs and things of that nature. We need to go until Hellcleave gets a gets a Heaven Striker or even Vita Curse. One of the above. Music, please. I beg of you to keep playing and not get stuck randomly. This is why I don't like the mini videos. It definitely has been a big YouTube issue the past like five months. Where if it just has multiple videos in a row, it fails. Don't know why, it just is. Still don't hear the next song. YouTube, please. Yeah. Debuff time. So much XP. How many level 200s do you have? Just one. I don't really like getting level 200s. I purposely don't level them to 200 for the most part. Not a big fan of it. Hopefully you're doing well, Clock Tower Joe. We are just cruising through some uh, new mop-up operation three, I believe. Yeah, the way I view it is more like if they hit level 200, now every single time I don't get an item, I'm wasting my time. This is like an honest statement. I'm like, I could play with level 200 people, but then like, what happens when I just don't get anything? I like, I need to have a goal. At least I could say like, you know, I didn't get what I wanted, but at least I have another character that's more viable for harder runs. Where it's like, if I just use one character over and over, it's like, well, what do you get when you get PSO'd for like 80 something game hours at level 200? Just not been an exciting prospect for me. Yeah, it's not like I'm looking to do time attacks or things of that nature either. Oh, this run actually went pretty fast. Over six minutes left still. Already in final room. Doing some SJS hunting. Nice, nice. I'm doing mostly okay. I'm looking for character variety mostly today. Heard a rare drop, got excited. Then I saw what it was. Excitement gone. Instantly gone. Let's see, I'll try to do the lore as they come in. I mean, technically, if people want to do, like, a joke SJS run at the end of the stream, we could do that. We had a joke, uh, Phantasmal World 3 run at the end, a group run where we just go to the boxes and just quit. So I don't mind doing the meme run. I just don't want to do the meme run for, like, hours. That way you could say you went for SJS on stream. Nice level up. to lure both of the targets. Don't you teleport towards me, dummy. So let's go put these away. Yeah, it's pretty good XP. 176,000, I mean, you can't say no to that XP. 
Listen, chat, we have a free slot. You could see we could carry it, we could carry you. It'll be fine. <laughs> Do you have somebody at 80 that needs to get higher level? You are more than welcome to join. Don't even care what character you are. You could be Humar. You could be Humar with no rares. We'll bring you in. Put away these things for now. Let him keep his three seals. Just leave the three seals on him so I don't have to bank it again. Uh, How badly do I need my fluids? I don't think I do, right? Yeah, not at all. TMG says, Sean says I'm about a humble level 70 right now. Well, we will definitely fix that very soon. If you are not 80 by the time we stream next time, we will push you to 80. <laughs> How's that? Game is up. Thank you, thank you. So I'm going to do C-Bank 4. What are you trying to do to level TMG, Sean? Are you joining very hard TTFs? Are you solo force in episode 4? I'm assuming you are in episode 2. Haha, ha, I have S ranks. Destroy everything. I believe from conversations last time, you mentioned you were newer. Soloing TTF. Makes sense. Okay, I'll bring in Dumpling. <laughs> oh no, chat. Dumpling can almost use Red Ring. Look out, chat. The ATP's coming. <laughs> she can get that extra accuracy to not use Excalibur. Ooh, she is decked out. Ooh. Just kind of looked at that and was like disgusting. So maybe we'll put away one of the Centurion abilities that she does not need at the moment. So her MST is 1703, just a little higher than the Fomar's 1360 something. Teeny bit. Uh, double Adept, absolutely. Rebarda, nope, went Rafoe. I'm not even gonna bother swapping. I thought about weapon swapping and I'm like, you know what? I really didn't need it in the run. I'll put in Gapo or Magical Piece, I guess I need to Gazond. Get rid of double Centurion for double Adept. Get rid of Cure Paralysis for Centurion. How's my item slots looking? One Scape Doll. That's probably fine. So yeah, so if I do need to stack Kafoe, at least I got something that speeds it up a bit. Yeah, we usually boost people with uh, the blue faux Newman, because he is just ludicrously good. What a what a dumb ID for power leveling people and character combo. Kind of in between waves, I just throw Gafoe out. There's really no downside. I think I'm doing 375 or, or 400 plus on a Gafoe. Nice. I want that. And the next wave is Gifoeable. Need PDs? Go carry people? That's true. I was gonna say, they're in the room here somewhere. I'm just gonna Gifoe. Got excited when I heard the rare sound. Saw what it was. Disappointment return. Some things never change. So I think we'll do at least one more green ID, then I can just host this red ID, because this character's red ID. It's, it's not like anything really changes. I don't have to worry about item swapping. My enhanced heal range, it's somewhat useful while playing support-ish role. Holy 900 damage. Ooh, the defense is booty. That's fine. On the plus side, she heals like a mad woman. So I can keep the party very healthy here. So 
so we'll be checking on you tmg for sure or if you prefer sean whichever since definitely people that are looking to get into the event there are multiple quests that could be run either works probably say sean oops damage sean Time to time to debuff. <laughs> Ooh, 412 damage. Nasty damage. Yeah, sadly, if a rare enemy was up, I would have been doing it, since I don't care about rare enemy hunts that much. <laughs> I'm tired of being disappointed by them, chat. I'm like, listen. We'll, we'll call it, like, happy accidents when I see them actually drop me something of interest at this point. But I'm like, uh... There's only so much Blue Hilda Tour Episode 4 conjure you. I really want to hunt before I get tired of them. Give it a good, like, hour and a half playtime, and I'm like... I think I hit my limit. I <laughs> just don't feel like grinding more for the day, at least. Yeah, I still feel very burned out from the Christmas uh, runs. Doing that one minute run, resetting, getting about 42 millilies in eight hours, and then having a four hour stretch where I saw literally not a single millily was like, yeah, screw your enemies in this game. <laughs> Didn't see a damn one chat. It was like 15 in the first hour and a half of playing and then just nothing for four hours so painful nice photon crystal the power of rare bonus compels you that is not the right ability So what are you using to uh, clear TTF, Sean? Are you using like, uh, I'm assuming for a beginner player, you're probably using, I don't know what you're using. Surprise me. <laughs> I was gonna say gun year and I'm like, uh, probably not. As we also have a lot of techniques for people that are still looking to do stuff. I still do not mind taking a couple minutes out of today if people are looking for specific techs and they're just looking to get all geared up like your 15s, your 20s, your 30s. Well, of course, minus your like actual like Foey 20s or whatever. <clears throat> that way, at least your supports are on point. Oh, you're playing Foe Newman. Oh, you're playing Foe Newman and doing TTF? Why? Honest question, why aren't you doing episode 4? That XP is bonkers stupid. Assuming you are a decently mag level character, unless you don't have a higher level tech, then that makes a bit more sense. Episode 4 XP is broken, like legit. I If you're playing solo force into TTF in particular, then I'm like, hmm. That's, uh, that's kind of painful. Using god text to boost them? Nice, nice. Yeah, because I, I feel like... You can still get away with it. Like, here's an example. Like, Worm Boss is not as atrocious at, in, like, very hard with Worm. But, like... Do you do you can't do you do dragon and worm and stop or do you go all the way to falls? Yeah. Cause like I, I respect the dragon reset. Dragon reset is whatever, that's legit. But if you're going to like bull up on force, I'm like it's doable, but that is crazy slow. Yeah. So I hope you're not actually completing TTF, at least if you're doing that.
So I want to draw the line. There's some points where it makes sense. And if you're with a group, then it's whatever. But it's solo, solo force, it's like episode four all day. It's so good. Yeah, like if you want a more complete run and still get like actually relevant rares, I'm not sure what ID you're running. But definitely look at the charts at episode four. I mean, blue, blue we were already talking about is one of the dumbest IDs ever on uh, episode four. Um, but anything with like photon crystals, which is most of the IDs, I think, in very hard. Not all of them, if I recall correctly. There's only a couple that have a double up. Those are pretty good. Uh, potentially could get things like Ignition Cloak. Ron Redria. Hmm. I don't remember right offhand. But we can go over it in just a moment between runs. But it's like. Oh, Photon Drop, finally. <laughs> I heard the rare sound and ignored it. I thought it was another Justy. Um, but yeah, it's it's so good. Especially if you're used to killing stuff like Episode 4 basic enemies over and over. There's like no reason not to just do Episode 4. You ignore a lot of the gimmicks at Episode 4 by playing Force. If you're playing like Hunter Ranger, that's definitely understandable because you're not going to have the tools you need for the most part unless you've been doing a lot of Photon Crystal quests or... Uh, trading around. But Force is, like, easy. <laughs> like, that, the first couple of ways of the massive attack, it's like, oh. Like, being able to kill, like, 14-something Rappies in the first two rooms with all those guaranteed drops, including things like materials, like, oh. It's so much money, even on very hard mode. It's disgusting. debuff time. Was the post on power leveling good while back? Yeah, I mean, for people that just aren't good at it, they just do up to... As exactly, you go up to the Astarks and reset. I was gonna say Zeus or Astarks. It depends on if you have good clear. Oh, no worries. Yeah, if you just wanted some hand-me-down text, by the way, Sean, just let me know. I can, I can hook you up after this run. I'm like, I get so many because we're playing this. Like, like casual level 25 text just dropping. Like, all that would be useful potentially for you. Like, I'm not going to go pick them up kinds of things normally. Oh, level 20 dropped. That I actually care about. So, there it is. One more off the list. Let's spam a couple Gafoes since at least I have magical piece for it. Back to Rifoe. Oh, get slapped while reviving Hellcleave. Rip. I tried. <laughs> the knockdown was real. Oh, I thought there was another wave. Oops. Would have uh, rifoe there. Somehow ran out of room. Impressive. I'm gonna put some bad stuff away. I must have like one ofs in here. Oh, we have one of mono fluid. That trash out of here. Useless fluid. Yeah, a lot of it is literally just spam Gafoe. Like that that really is the strat. I mean you could see like I'm playing this quest, it's like at least in multiplayer, it's like 80% Rafoe. Not Gafoe, Rafoe, because we have to move a lot. If we don't have to move a lot, or it's like a lot of enemies that are weak to elements back to back, or like between waves, I could pop down a casual Gafoe for more free damage. So like there's ways I can like slightly optimize the run, even if I don't remember all the positions. Where it's just like, I know there's going to be another wave, so I might as well just do it. Because if it hits anybody for any amount of damage, it saves time. But it's so good. Especially now that you're closer to 70 compared to, like, just raw 40. Uh, that's a lot of MST difference. Especially if you also didn't have max mag at the time. It's to the point where, like, if you're even vaguely near, like, level 27 tech, you're probably killing most enemies in 4 spells or less. Even if you're not max MST. And they go for basically double damage. On top of that, compared to... Or not double damage, they go for double XP. Compared to episode 1 counterparts. There's only a couple enemies that are really a big problem, I would say, for people starting off. Mostly Dwarfons. Astarks can be kind of annoying if you don't have good ice techs. 
Go full struggle city. Oh, it's one of these rooms. Never mind. Debuff time. I'll do a Gafoe because I know the next wave is going to be gafoe -able. Because they'll just walk into it here. Case in point. Nice. Just did like 500 on the next wave. Do another Gafoe because I think the other guys are already dead. Nice. I already stat had stacked Gafoe, so that saved some time. Nice. I'll do one more stack of Foe here. Stark Race. Eh, I'll go pick it up, why not? Nothing else, I'll just junk it later. Uh, get rid of regular Monomate. Bayo, you'd be surprised. I mean, if you're able to kill, like, Bull Up, then episode 4 is not a problem. Sorry about that, team. Goodbye, Stark Race. Hmm. Have I gotten Insectuality cards to drop before? I have most of them. They're just, they're pointless. I don't do anything with them. I think maybe they go to, like, the red ring stuff now. Maybe. Some of them. I think I have, like, five different colors. I have more than five cards, though. I have a couple duplicates, which is sad. <laughs> I'm just like, what if that was actually a good rare? Yeah, like I think I've, I think I don't have like RNs, for example. Maybe yellow balls. I definitely have blue, viridian, green, red, white. Any plans on plating? Hell no. I don't care about that. Aesthetics, I'm like, listen, I care about making the character. I don't care what my weapon looks like. <laughs> like, hell no. I'm like, listen, there is enough of a grind. I'm not grinding for aesthetics. I don't care. That is not for me. Yeah, I mentioned a couple times on stream. This is more a game I could just play with the chat. You know, we could talk about it. There's some item theories and stuff like that, or like strategies. Slowly evolving the state of gameplay on stream and off stream. But in terms of just like grinding for the sake of grinding, I'm not into it. Get rid of these and. I'll probably put these two away so I can hold more items. I didn't really use Striker Chow. I'll probably just leave it on her so I don't forget. I think the Epsigard one is really cool, but I'm just a GameCube player, so any of that stuff is cool. I I've gotten Epsigard before, and I'm like, eh. Just kind of one of those things to me. I just don't care about the aesthetics. If it was like a whole new outfit, I would care, but just like one component, I'm like, nah. Synthesizer attained. Ooh. Her first clear of the quest. Uh, I think we could go to red. That's fair. Let's switch it over.
Yeah, this game is more kind of like a vehicle for conversation than anything else. Either talking about the game or just topics in general. Just giving away items for the most part. I mean, like, for example, like, what am I going to do with all these Rafoes? Like, these are here for people to take. Like, just take them. <laughs> like, I, I beg of you, chat. Like, just these 28s, whatever, just keep them. I don't care. There's whole characters with, like, whole share banks. Or not share banks, whole character banks of items that I'm never going to use. Get rid of Synthesizer. I don't care about this rare. So we'll keep doing a few more of these. If I don't deep up there, they're gonna knock me down in multiplayer. Alright, since chat's already got it, I might as well get forward once. And on the final wave, I'm just gonna get forward. It's a lot of free damage I just got on the satellite lizards there. It was about 1200. Okay. Yeah, I can hook you up with basically everything with Tex. It's after this run. If you're available, let us hand him out. I literally have a character called Techie. All she does is hold Tex. Literally, her, I don't ever play her. Except to give Tex out to people. That's so like, come liberate me and free me. Of, give me more space. <laughs> I don't want PDs or anything in return. You just take them. Especially for brand new players. For veteran players, I'll be like, hmm, we'll see. But for brand new players, to Affinia specifically, not just PSO in general. It's just like, whatever. Get rid of these. A nice little heal going. Oh, there they are. I was, wasn't was sure, because there's so many dots. I just panic a forward. Time to debuff. Go the group. Oh, I get to actually use Barda. There we go. I used the spell appropriately. Debuff, debuff more, heal the team. Uh, I wasn't sure he was going to teleport, so I just kept away to kill him. I think I want that mono grinder actually. Yeah, after this specific run, if you're available, I can do it. Otherwise, you can just wait until another run. It will be like night and day, the clear difference, especially if you're trying to get to 80. Being able to do potentially literally 80 to 90 more damage a spell, depending on how different the tech level is. It's kind of crazy. Then you don't need as many god techniques, so you could focus on things like Heavenly Minds if you got them. Or uh, god abilities, which are somewhat easy to get on the gamble, if you have a couple of those. Gonna say you're here somewhere, I will find you. Uh, make a game in uh, block two. We're gonna be about probably like five minutes though. Just FYI. 
Oh, I got knocked down. That's just sad. Since we're still pretty early in the quest. Yeah, I'll swing by with the techie character. She's a, I have a lot of techs in my share bank. So I'll just make sure my share bank stuff is there. <clears throat> I might have spare god abilities to just give you... I've been giving away most of the lower end stuff. I keep some of the higher stuff maybe for trades, but... It's like, I'd rather go to people that are, you know... Looking to genuinely grind into the game. And to get them through some of the early unfair RNG. Like, not getting high-level techs is really annoying when you play. I mean, there's still literally just, like, you could play for, like, 20 hours and not get the right tech you need. You end up with, like, 20... 20 Gabardas and, like, no useful Rafoes. Be so sad sometimes. Let's just skip that portion of the Force Grinding and then it's fine. You still have so many things you could potentially go for anyway. I was gonna say you're you're the target of the god abilities. If you're using hero abilities, that's fine. But yeah, god abilities will be a step up. I think this is another room where arguably I could just gifo emerge. There's enough enemies that spawn near the middle here. I probably could just gifo emerge. Oh, Photon Crystal, nice. Like, at least I should always give away the last wave here, because it's just free damage on the next wave. Definitely taking that Photon Crystal. Find Reverser Ryuker except when I'm playing on low level. I'm the exact opposite. I literally can never find Reverser Ryuker. It is like the saddest thing. <laughs> I have started new forces over, went from 1 to 80, never, never dropped. <laughs> Just like a one. How is that how is that fair? And then I check the shops, it's not in the shops. You're killing me. Sometimes I purposely try to get level one people. Yeah, if I have, like, literally level 1 people, I can find it. If I level them at all, I just stop seeing them. So stupid. I don't feel like dealing with that level of RNG when I play. I just find that just annoying more than anything else. I'm like, ah, oh, yes, skillful. I just didn't get an obvious required technique. Thanks, game. If I want a few, let me know. I think I have a couple now. I don't think I'm in, like, desperate need. I got annoyed one day, and I, I managed to get, like, a shop at, like, level... I don't know, like, 20 or something like that? And I'm like, I just bought, like, 7. But it, it took a while. Like, for years, I didn't have them. Like, even... even the... what was it? Like, Waluigi, which chat made, I think, about technically two years ago at this point, he was missing all of his support techs because I just didn't have them. <laughs> it was so sad. But I, I think now I'm a little better with it at least. So I'm going to make sure people don't go through that when they play PSO. I remember when I was like, oh right, he has no techs. <laughs> I think that was like my exact quote when I went to shortcut and I'm like, oh, never mind. I want to barter the bird so bad. And when I said barter the bird, I was thinking of Magic the Gathering for a moment, where you bolt the bird. <laughs> Never let mana bird fly free. 
You're like, go away, birds of paradise. Nice. See a pretty solid XP here. So I'll take a brief detour after this. I'll help out TMG Song with their techs. I should have a fair number of level 30 supports. And then uh, I should have most stuff at 29. If I don't, it'll be like 28. It, it, with one with one god technique, it doesn't matter. I'll put it that way. With a god technique, it doesn't matter if it's 28 or 29. One, once you move away from god technique, then it matters a little more, but... It is what it is there. Oh. Almost at the final room. Just gotta get through this nonsense first. Feeling hell cleave time. Deep up, I die. There we go. <laughs> I'm forced. I'm forced to play team friendly. Oh, new rules. Defense is so bad. I literally die in two hits if I don't debuff. So if I get hit once, I'm like, I gotta debuff. Yeah, like I'm. Oh yeah, and people were talking about the other day about uh, whether or not I would ever switch servers. So another thing where there's just like a lot of small changes with quality of life. Let me go into more detail with that briefly. Um, they really improved the tool shop and things of that nature compared to the other versions of the game. Oh, Rivarda29, thank you. Oh, okay, you got the supports at 30 already. Nice, nice. But like an example is like the tool shop. There's a lot of stuff that's like not immediately obvious unless you're really comparing the two versions. Because it's not like Affinia has like a formal patch note list, I don't think, of everything they've ever changed. So what I mean by that is that originally, at least back in the GameCube, it worked like this. When you have access to the tool shop, normally you don't get access to every healing item at once in the tool shop. So one of the changes Affinia did was make sure that every restorative item was always accessible. Because originally it was random if you got things like Star versus Soul Atomizer and other things in the tool shop. That was stuff I don't look... <laughs> things I don't ever really want to go back to, to be honest. It's like, oops, your abilities are in another castle. Like, imagine re needing to remake game because you can't get the star atomizers. Stupid. Yeah, I'm <laughs> just like, I'm like, I I'm past that. I don't want to go back to those days. I think they slightly weighted the uh, Tekker to generally not require rerolls. I think that was the last discussion they had with it. They did technically nerf the Tekker, <laughs> technically recently. Because he always used to give upgrades on things that even weren't really meant to upgrade all the way. So he's behaving more like Vanilla now. That is not a Jelen. I'm surprised I didn't die, but we'll take it. Yeah, let's go regular Foey. But there's just so many little changes like that. Like, they're just things like you might not notice. Like, the ones that I will always bring up, because I thought it was insane this was like vanilla behavior, and I would never want to go back to it. The behavior of a lot of the Ruins enemies in particular were fixed when it came to dropping rares. Like, I still remember when they released the patch note for it. I was like, wait, that wasn't vanilla behavior? It's crazy. So what do I mean by that? So one of the big things, you might remember the uh, Death Gunners in Ruins. The ones where it's like, some are red, some are green, one's a leader unit. The others all get shocked when you hit the leader. So for those enemies, only one type of those enemies drop rears, and I think it was the leader. Or for example, Bullclaw. 
Full Claw didn't drop his rare if he opened up, for example. Might be getting his name slightly wrong, but you know which one I mean. It deposits all the claws. And even just like more recent changes where like sorcerers, Dorfons, zoos drop their items where they spawn to stop them from falling out of bounds. Because there are just so many times they would just spawn out of bounds and it drives me wild. But I mean, like, there's just so many of those things. And I think when people bring that up, I think it comes from more of, like, maybe you're looking for more custom content. But from somebody that's been around with the server for a while, there is, like, no way I would want to go to a server that doesn't have those things. I'll be like, no way. <laughs> like, some of these are just absolute mandatories. Because those were driving me wild. Like, I didn't even hunt sorcerers or zoos for the longest time because of that nonsense was in the game. Whereas, like, oh no, it went out of bounds again. Why do MA1B for the zoos? It's just gonna drop. Oh, why do OBS drop? That's annoying. OBS, please. Hopefully, I didn't just lose internet altogether. I guess I'll find out in a moment. Hmm, I don't like it not going back to lobby. Well, let's do a quick internet test. Did I lose internet? 